Yo, what's going on man? It's Mo Salim here from TripleUT.com and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the effects that smoking weed has on your testosterone. So a lot has been rumored and speculated about this topic, but I'm going to go over the scientific research. More specifically, I'm going to discuss the effects that smoking weed has on the development of man boobs, the effect that smoking weed has on male health, on your testosterone and sperm parameters, and thirdly, my personal experience and analysis of the research. So the link between smoking weed and gynecomastia, aka man boobs, was first brought into light in the 70s when a couple of studies suggested that THC has an estrogenic influence. But what really brought this link to the spotlight was when an article was published in the CNN in 2013 by a cosmetic surgeon and this cosmetic surgeon actually took the case for a plausible link between THC and gynecomastia to a whole new level but for someone in the business of actually doing gynecomastia surgeries of course there would be a link so what's the truth does smoking weed actually cause gynecomastia well the research is not so clear a couple of test tube studies show that THC contains compounds that connect to estrogen receptors but when these same studies are carried over using an animal model the estrogenic influence does not take place. The only human study that I was able to find on this topic was performed in US Army soldiers and in that study researchers found no link between marijuana use and gynecomastia. So yeah that's what the research says and if you want to check out these topics more in depth I've linked out to my blog post which goes over 20 scientific studies on this topic but based on my analysis of the research so far smoking weed may have a minor estrogenic influence but it's not enough for you to develop man boobs. All right, so the case for weed's role in the development of gyno actually comes down to a hormonal imbalance, more particularly an imbalance between estrogen and testosterone. So when it comes to the effects that smoking weed has on testosterone, there are a lot of studies that have been performed, but before diving into them, I just wanna go over a concept known as cherry picking from the data. So as is the case with the current state of human research on health and fitness is that two people with completely opposing views can come and cherry pick from the scientific research to support their completely opposing views. And this point is exemplified by the research that's been performed on marijuana and testosterone because uh, there's research that supports each of the three possible scenarios. So there's research that supports the fact that smoking weed decreases testosterone. There's research that supports the fact that uh, smoking weed increases testosterone. And there's also research to support the fact that smoking weed has no effect on testosterone. So you can check out all of these studies in my blog post link below. But based on my analysis of this research, I'd say that it comes down to personal experience. So for me, I live up here in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is apparently the home of the strongest weed in the world. That's what these guys say anyway. And whenever I smoke, I mean, I've smoked a couple of times since being here, I just get anxious and my cortisol levels go up. I can feel it and my heart starts beating really fast. So for me, I definitely get paranoid as well. So it probably affects my testosterone levels negatively. But for someone else, it might help them relax. It might help them ease the stress and reduce cortisol. So at the end of the day, you have to figure out how weed affects you and uh, that would probably determine how it affects your testosterone levels as well. But a point that is undeniable is the effects that smoking weed has on sperm. So a very long and robust study was actually performed over four years in Danish men. So 1200 Danish men were going through compulsory medical examinations to determine their fitness for military service. Semen samples, blood samples, fitness tests, they were all collected from these men. And of particular interest to us is that each of these men was also split into three groups. The first group had no use of cannabis, the second group had uh, one or less use of cannabis per week, and the third group had three or more times of cannabis use per week. So 45% of these men had smoked at least once over the past three months and when they looked at the entire sample size, the men who smoked more than once per week actually had 28% lower sperm concentrations than the men who did not smoke. So yeah, if you're trying to have a kid, then it's probably not the best idea for you to be blazing up. So yeah, man, that about wraps it up for all the research performed on uh, marijuana and testosterone. Again, you can check out my very comprehensive blog post, which is linked below. But overall, based on my analysis of these 20 scientific studies, I do not think that smoking weed will have a tremendous influence on your testosterone levels. That being said, 
smoking weed may have an indirect effect on your testosterone levels. What I mean by that is that if you smoke weed and you get lazy and unproductive and you skip out on your gym sessions and that makes you eat more ice cream and Cheetos and whatever other cookies and shit that are not beneficial for you, then that would be an indirect negative effect on your testosterone levels. So although the weed in itself is not causing the decrease, the activities that come after you smoking weed may decrease your testosterone levels. That being said, there are some people who swear by smoking weed and they go to the gym under the influence of it. But for me personally, when I'm in public, I get paranoid and anxious. And if I have a smoke at home or something like that, I definitely get lazy and unproductive and more likely to skip out on my gym. But yeah, for you, if smoking weed does not disrupt your diet and lifestyle efforts towards losing fat, getting lean, building muscle, then uh, I don't think it would affect your testosterone levels either. Either. So yeah, at the end of the day, the research on weed and testosterone is completely inconclusive, but based on my analysis of all of it, I think that it comes down to personal experience and whether it holds you back from actually following through on what you said you were going to do. If it doesn't, then I guess it's all right. But if it does, like is the case with me, then uh, lay off the weed, all right? And a final point is that uh, weed does kill your sperm. so lay off it if you're trying to conceive. But yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments what your experience with smoking weed is. With all that being said, this has been Mo Salim from TripleYourTea.com and I'll see you soon.